Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Champions of Meandir gameplay video series. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions, and today I'm here with Kim, Nick, and George. If you're new here and want to learn how to play this game, check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist. Link to it will be in the video description. And if you're interested in joining us for a future episode, please feel free to reach out and let us know in the comments. You can also leave a comment to help us improve or just to tell us what you'd like to see next. Okay, let's go ahead and introduce the decks that we'll be playing today, starting with Kim. Hello, I'm going to be playing Harmony, Everybody is Here. I am running every single unique denizen that has been printed into the game so far. That is so cool. All right, Nick, <laughs> what are we doing today? My deck is Junila, uh, and the typical... Junila has a pretty good track record on this show, uh, but I think I'm going to try and switch it up, because... What usually makes Junilio powerful in my eyes is all of Blue's effects of like cost reduction. So I'm just going to leave Blue behind. I know that Junila is Blue. Let's forget about that for a second. This is the non Blue Nila Blue deck. Anyway, uh, that's what I'm trying today. We'll see if it works. Uh, that's so cool. So every, every card in your deck is aligned to something else other than Blue, I suspect? That's right. <laughs> that's so cool. All right, Georgie Boy, you're next. Okay. So I've done Viridian Dreams. Obviously, I have had very good results with Mufari. This particular Viridian Dreams, I wanted very badly to win, and it was close. And I didn't win with it, so I put it on the bench for a few weeks to see if I could come back with it and win at all today. So that's what we're trying. All of my Dreams decks are mixed in with purple. And since it's a Viridian Dreams deck, obviously, there's going to be a, a serious tinge of green. So get ready. I'm ready. I'm on the edge of my seat. And finally, we have me playing Grindon, personal trainer. So the last time I broke out this deck, I felt like I came so close to winning. So I wanted to bring it back again today to see if I can finally just edge one out with Grindon. And yeah, I'm excited to see if I'm going to be able to do it today. All right, that's it for the deck intros. Let's begin the game. All right, I'm first. Uh, we're going to start with the classic hidden and mm. uh, tempt the punishment of the of the of the roadblock i am running roadblocks but i don't have yeah. it in my opening hand i will divulge that me too we'll see if i tip myself um <laughs> let's uh let's take a free draw for the turn i'm gonna use my gold search and do no more things Pass. awesome awesome so it's my turn we have ourselves our first gold let us start things off with another hidden a hidden flower patch <laughs> However, let's just put a little gold there. That's just our little secret, okay? And we're passing that, okay? If you tell anybody that I put that gold token there, you didn't see that. Oh, right, my free draw. Almost forgot. All right, we got George Ross on the show today. Get my gold for turn. Wonderful blind turn. <laughs> I'll play Dangerous Path. I'll activate its arrival to look at the top card. Solid first turn, honestly. You know what? We're going to leave it there. I think that's fun. Uh, and then we're going to take that as my free draw. And then I too will tempt the fates by playing a hidden cycle location, hidden crag in my case, and put a search counter on it. Then I'll go ahead and abandon this dangerous path to draw a card. All right, very cool. And then I will pass it over to you, Kim. If you drop a turn Challenge one toll collector, three. you will be the winner of the universe for today. Well, you're <laughs> never going to believe oh, no. what I'm going to do. I'm no going to way. play a familiar road location aligned to white and use my one white. gold to play a yes! turn one gold toll collector. Oh, <laughs> yes! Kim, you are the hero of the universe. We're taking it easy today. Yeah, yeah, this, this is, is amazing. Slow game. Uh, I'll take my free draw. <laughs> and I'll pass the turn. All right. Clearly, we're not here to make friends today, so... Uh... No. Hey, no. I, I consider G9. myself a friend of the Toll Collector, so you've made one friend today. Yeah. I would. don't know what else is on. I will play two gold for a quest for the first vault. Oh, questing already, draw. eh? We're questing. We'll just... Uh... Don't hate it. Uh, I'm not going to play anything else. We'll pass the turn. Hmm. Oh, oh man. Kim, why? What is up with the Toll George, Collector? George, this is good, responsible gaming. And here you go. You better have some very I good... I know if I three turn ones, I guess, you know? I'm talking to him. Talking to I'm Alvin sorry. right My now. Bad. My He's bad. trying to... He better have some expert strategies to be already on turn two. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's turn two. I'm getting two gold. 
reduce distractions, remove distractions, Ooh. taking my free draw. I'm not that upset anymore. I'm okay, actually. <laughs> this is good. Pass. <laughs> All right. Goal for turn. Let's see. What do I want to do here? You know what? Let's go ahead and start some fights. I'm going to play the wow. campaign start fights. Okay, and then right. I'll use my free draw. And yeah, I mean, this definitely changes what I was going to do, but I'm very happy to see it, actually. So pass it over <laughs> to you, Tim. Thank you. I'll take my gold back up to two. Take my free draw. I'll play mm. Verdant Path, mm -hmm. uh, and I'll use its arrival ability to look at my top card. Putting it on the bottom, and then play a quest for the first vault. Oh, okay. Wow. You got one too, eh? Yeah, I've wow. got one too. Wow. And I think I'll pass my turn. Oh, right. cautious. So we're questing oh. together. I will put a quest counter on it and gain my gold for the turn. Hurrah. And I'm going to drop a familiar road, naming blue. Naming blue, eh? Because you need a little bit of blue to play the, play the champion herself. Yes. And then we will use quest for the first vault. I'll fetch, view my deck. Can I make a suggestion? Uh, a hidden cycle location? You only have to spend two to put a search counter on it. It's a really good deal. Yeah. And then two the second time. Uh huh. Why wouldn't that you want is... to do that? That's a, that's a steal. Yeah, that's a loss of two gold. <laughs> I think we'll take... Uh... Wild. Spend one gold, spend the other one free. Mm -hmm. Where is the Vince McMahon meme of just cut the tape? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, George. I will re re to you. With tears. Statue of the Great Conqueror. All right, Statue of the Great library. Conqueror for Nick. Okay. Jump nice. on my deck. I'm not going to play it. We'll play Hidden Crag, but not activate it. Why? It only so costs two. Free draw. <laughs> I'm not loving that. I'm not that the happiest about it. But maybe, maybe something will come up. Anyway, well, let's just play our champion. She comes out and represents. Mm. And uh, yeah, it's simple turn. simple enough turn. We'll pass. Cool. So I'm going to start with playing a Chromatic Ring. And I'm also going to play uh, Craftsman's Apprentice. Very cool, George. Thank you. I, I activate Remove Distractions, putting Dishearten into my inactive zone. Cool. I have six cards. I still have one free draw. I'm out of gold. We will pass. Very well. Get gold. Get counter. OK, so we're going to play Statue of the Great Conqueror. And then. Nice. <clears throat> We are going to play a Rowdy Bandits for three. I really wish I could activate my arrival ability, but unfortunately, this individual makes every activated You've ability play fair. of locations that I control cost one more, which means I don't actually have the goal to do that. Can I make a suggestion? Yes. Uh, let's let's not use start fights on the Toll Collector. Uh, I wasn't planning to. Hurrah! Because I actually, as upset as I am to lose the value of this, I actually like the effect that this is having on my opponent. So I actually think it's doing me more good than harm right now. So I'm actually going to activate Start Fights, since you mentioned it. And I'm going to have the Rowdy Bandits challenge Junila. So Nick, on your next turn, you're going to have to attack Junila into the Rowdy Bandits. Interesting choice. I am going to use my free draw now, because why not? And then I think I am going to abandon this to draw one more card. All right, and I think I'm good to go with this turn. Pass. Okay. I'll start my turn by gaining my gold and putting on my counters, and I'll do uh, my questing first because there's this concept called thinning the deck mm. where if you take your cards out of the deck that you don't necessarily want to draw first, then you have a higher chance of getting a different kind. So I'll take my quest for the first vault to fetch a non-unique location card. Very nice. That's top-notch sequencing. Love to see it. All right. It is a decorated path. Cool. I'm going to play my decorated path. Then I'm going to play Explore the Unknown, Ooh, okay. which is another campaign that gets me a lot of cards. And then I'll use my final gold to play a marked map. Then I'll use my decorated path's ability to look at the top card of my deck. I'm going to put it on the bottom. Then Excellent I'm going to value. use, finally, my draw action for this turn. So cool. Love that. Then I'm... Yeah, thank you. Then I'm going to use my walled path 
to do the same thing. I'm going to activate its ability, look at the top card, put it on the bottom, abandon my uh, familiar road, change to an active, and I'll draw a card. And pass the turn. Beautiful turn. I'll gain my gold for turn, put my counter on, and I'll start with a travel abroad for one gold. Touching non-unique locations. We'll be doing this twice, but i got to do this first to get a mm. card and another card out. That'd make a lot of room. So, reveal to you Hidden Cave. Play the Hidden Cave. Then we'll uh, we'll shuffle. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm going to go ahead and search with the quest anyway, so yeah, a little bit extraneous. Uh, so, another Hidden Crag. Another Hidden Crag, okay. Drop it, and then take a free draw for the turn. And then, we'll play a Work the Fields. Ooh, the farmers. So maybe I can get some gold a different mm -hmm. way. And then Junila mm -hmm. is going to do her fated attack and uh, put into the inactive zone. And done. Pass. Okay, so we are on turn four. For gold, we are on phase two of remove distractions. I have a full hand, so I need to get rid of some stuff before I can take on those cards. Now, I've been thinking very carefully about how I want to approach this. Now, with this card, Craftsman's Apprentice, Routine, I can produce a token that's a copy of a non-unique item that I can control. Chromatic Ring is a non-unique item. There it is. Does that not mean I can sell this Chromatic Ring? You sure can. That's wonderful. Now I have five gold. So I'm going to put into play Mufari, the Beast Hunter. And I will also put in the Diligent farmer i will also play grand fish market now i activate remove distractions draw my two cards i am now putting to my inactive zone welcome settlers because i got a card that i prefer now i can activate my grand fish market and draw one more time and believe it or not you still have not used your free draw so if you can get one more card out of your hand somehow that's great because I play Isolated Cottage <laughs> and I draw a card. Just in case anyone gets any bright ideas, here's another hidden flower patch. <laughs> and I will end my turn and pat. All right, my turn four. Get my gold for turn, get my phase counters. Okay, interesting. We got some options here. Okay, so first I'm going to resolve start fights i'm going to activate start fights and i am going to have the toll collector challenge mufari now normally no. i would actually have mufari challenge hey. the toll collector because then on kim's turn the toll collector would run itself into this but i'm actually going to do this the other way i'm going to have the toll collector challenge mufari so it'll last at least one more turn before george is forced to attack this into this and also it'll force mufari to attack this rather than a more profitable attack so sometimes it matters who's challenging who and in this case i get the most value by having toll collector challenge so they are now locked in mortal what? combat george on your next turn mufari will have to attack into your toll collector I okay understand. cool yes next i'm going to play assert dominance for three gold and then now I'm going to use my free draw. And then now I'm going to play Statue of the Great Conqueror. And I have actually oh. one gold left over. So I'm going to use that gold to activate Statue of the Great Conqueror's arrival ability. Normally it costs zero, but because of this gentleman, it costs one. But I will gladly, yep. gladly play it this time, uh, buffing my guy up to a 4-4. Four, four. Now let's see, do I want to attack? The thing is, I don't think I want to get hostile yet. Um, I don't really want to expose myself to hostile punishers quite yet. Do I want to get greedy with my abandoning? It looks like there's still not that much power on the board that I need to be afraid of. So yeah, I'm going to get a little greedy. I'm going to abandon this to draw one more card and I'll pass it over to you, Kim. Wonderful. I'll start my turn by getting my gold and counters. Now, I want to be careful about the way that I order this. So I'm going to first take my quest for the first vault uh, to fetch. Ah, yes. Uh, reveal and put it in hand, my quiet path. Play my quiet path. <laughs> activate its ability. Put it on the bottom. Then I'm going to activate Explore the Unknown to look yep. at the top three and then put one into my hand and then shuffle the rest. That's right. And this one you do not have to reveal. I do not have to reveal. Put this one into my hand and then shuffle my deck. This is so cool. Everyone's playing with such good sequencing, maximizing value. Love uh -huh. to see it. <clears throat> then I'm going to sell my marked map. 
Hmm. Two Definitely game, taking your free draw. Yep, I will do that as well. I'm going to play Harmony. And then that leaves me with exactly two gold to play Isabel Child, Isabella. Uh, Isabella Child Brody. Mm. All right, so you score two points, and she gets plus zero, plus one. Yep. Uh, I, I can't end my turn quite yet, because my Toll Collector still has to uh, attack So me. actually, actually no. um, that's not the case. Uh, this is challenging this, which means this has to attack into this. So you actually can end your turn without attacking. That is true. Sorry. You want, I mean, I can. I'm not going to. <laughs> that's my turn. Okay. Uh, we'll use Quest for the First Vault to fetch one more location. This time it's a unique. That's right. I will reveal to you uh, Kalnea, City of Delight. Ah, okay. So you didn't find the vault, then... but you did make it back to the city. Yes. Shuffle. We'll play that Kalnea, and uh, everybody who is eligible will draw a card. Well, yeah. Uh... Oh, snap! Enjoy, everybody. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to produce a Diligent Farmer token. Very nice. Activate it. Go up one gold. And then play a, uh, did I, yeah, an ask for donations. Another ask for donations. Whoa! Oh. Two? Two? Well, I gotta get gold somehow. If it's not gonna be that my is, location, that's gonna be No, for sure. No, I mean, like, I'm just like, they never suspected Ooh, Indeed. Two. <laughs> yeah. We'll take a free draw. Now that those are out of our hand. And speaking of gold generation, let's play a forceful debt collector. <sighs> mm hmm, mm hmm. Makes sense. A little late to the party, but maybe maybe he'll be cool. Stick around. It's a lot of gold you're gonna get next turn. Put a search counter on on the uh, hidden crag cool. for two gold. Yeah, pay your but, tolls. Uh, yeah, you did. Pretty sure I'm out of things to do, so pass. Pass to George. Okay, so my turn. Let's go. Five gold. Phase three of remove distractions. Well, guess I'll just have to play the Grand Fish Market. Cool. I need to put Demoralize on the field. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, we need a copy of this bad boy because we got Craftsman's Apprentice activating his routine. So we make another copy of a Chromatic Ring. Whew. We sell that, see? And then we're back up, boys. Three gold. Tasty. Three skidoo. So I need to give my diligent farmer one gold. So now I'm at four. And that allows me to play my death strike. Ooh, death strike. With only one gold. That allows me to equip it to Mufari. Lower accurate attachment right there. What does amplify two? Means if it would deal damage, deals that much plus two. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm out of gold. Let me get into my draws. So I have a free draw, I have a remove distractions. And you have an arrival of this. And I have an arrival and you have of an abandon. Fish market. So you have a, a, a and lot I have crazy a, amount and of And I have draws. a potential abandon. A lot of car draw. Okay, so I believe remove distractions is first. Let's activate that. So I will draw two cards and then discard one. I will put this demoralize into the inactive zone. I will take my arrival from Grand Fresh Market. Oh, yeah, this is resolved now, so... Oh, my free draw. Okay, so that's all of my draws. Now for Mufari to attack Toll Collector. But nice. I don't take any damage. But right. Toll Collector died. Absolutely demolishing that Toll Collector. Not even a chance. No. Six whole damage. Vanquished. <laughs> I passed my turn. Um. Okay, so let's see. I gotta make sure I sequence this right. So... Elvin. Could I make a deal with you? Oh, uh, no. Okay, let's see. Let's see what you got. If you don't do anything about my harmony, I have another toll collector. Oh, mm. of course you have another. Oh, thanks for letting us know. But Okay, so this I'm is tempting because there. I have the single one turn where I can use get this, and then toll collector comes out and yeah, you get the annoys my opponents see? again. That's actually... <sighs> okay, so the deal is I don't touch your harmony... And you play another Toll Collector. And then I will play the Toll Collector. Okay, but see, here's the thing. I feel like you would want to play Toll Collector anyways. So I think I cannot take that deal because I don't, I don't feel like I get enough value out of that because I feel like you, you, you would want to play that anyway. So I'm going to 
I'm gonna take take the risk. Maybe maybe you'll spite me by just not playing it, but it, it's just too much value for you. So I, I'm gonna assume you're gonna play it anyways. Um, All right. But having but having said that, I did get one piece of information out of the the deal, which is I do know you have one. So I'm gonna activate this right now because I can to essentially go up one gold. There's more information that you don't know. Though. That's true. That's true. But I will allow. I, I will permit myself to to lose out on that information. Um, I think I am going to attempt to get on the board, perhaps, question mark. Yes, I think I'm going to spend three of that gold to play Grindon. Uh, I'm going to play Persuasive Might for my last three gold. And then now I'm going to use my free draw. Sorry, I forgot to put a counter there. So I'm going to have Start Fights, Activate. And I'm going to have Mufari challenge the deck collector. So deck collector on your turn, Nick, will have to attack into Mufari. So in case the viewer is wondering why this particular configuration, uh, deck collector's aggression ability can only be used if it's around. So at the end of this attack, he's no longer going to be around, assuming there's no buffs or anything like that. And so he will not have a chance to activate his aggression. So this essentially cuts him out of that one gold, unless Nick has some uh, cool plays, which he totally might. I that completes this campaign. I love the fact that you're using my Mufari as a turret. Yeah, I mean, I'm using all the resources available. You fight you. You fight you. Yeah. You right. do. You do so fight. Now, some dominance needs to be asserted. George, I will make a deal with you. I'm actually tempted to remove this because you're getting so much value from this. But if you don't demoralize my dudes, I won't. Will you take that deal? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Just, just, just your next activation. That's all I'll say for that. Wow. Yeah. Your next activations, you can do whatever you want. I don't want to be too stringent. You're stipulating on my, on my deal yourself. There. Yeah. Uh, all right. So I'll wow. go ahead and activate okay, Assert Dominance enough. now. I'm gonna give my <laughs> Rowdy Bandits one more power. Deal damage to. It's between this and this. Let's. You know what? For the first time on the show, I'm gonna flip a coin. So heads is this. Mm -hmm. Tails is this. I'm gonna go ahead and oh, flip really? a coin. This is and unprecedented. Sorry, Nick. It looks like RNG wow. would like to use your farmer. Hooray! RNG Holy. too? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn, and Grindon will trigger, score me three points. Pass. Okay. I will gain my gold, uh, put my counters on my campaigns, and push the, for the first vault will activate for its final time, uh, letting me look through my deck. You'll never guess it's Kalnea. <gasps> oh. Ah, Kalnea, City of the Light. <laughs> Move to inactive, and then I get to explore the unknown. Uh, the you shouldn't explore the unknown with a full hand, Kim. Oh, wait. I'll run out my hidden thicket, just to get, you know, no cards. Uh, and then I'll explore the unknown and look at the top three. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't have to reveal that. I'm playing it anyway. <laughs> oh, uh, well, like, okay. Yeah, pay one, two, three Whoa. to play out my Eldrian. Oh, okay. great. And I got the three, yeah, and two points. Oh, not three points, two. Yeah, two points. Then I will pay one for the toll collector that I promised. You're welcome. Nice. I'll abandon my uh, Verdant Path, okay. putting it into my inactive and drawing a card. You didn't want to arrive first? I will first? play it. Uh, yeah, I'll do that now. Cool. All right, Ari will reveal a hidden thicket, and I'll just play my uh, Dangerous Path. I'll top guard. I will leave it on top. Ooh, okay. Uh, then I then I will play Kalnea. Oh, okay. The card. <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> nice. All right, and I'm going to use my final gold to play what I've been looking for, Mauricio Gloomy Ooh, Poet. Oh, okay. So you got another trigger. Fair enough. Two points, and I will use Isabella. And I will attack her into. I I guess we'll we'll go right. for Grindon. Yes. And when she leaves play, and since it's my turn, I gain two more points. Finally, end my turn with Eldrian, scoring a total of one point. Very nice. Uh, and pass. All right. So let's start the turn. Gain my gold. We have room for a free draw, so I'll take it. I'll make my attack of forceful deck collector into El uh, Mufari as. Prophesize this second time. Does my range uh, still count? I yes, your range still counts. Down. You lose nothing. Wow. And then I will. Oh yeah, I forgot my base counters. Ooh, nice. Yep. Um, I use two. Out, uh, 
gold to put a search counter on Hidden Cave and play some attack fodder, Matic Emblem. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will do no more things. Pass. Okay. okay, so you get into phase one of the Moralize. We'll resolve that in a second. First of all, this guy, he needs gold. He gives me back two of those. Okay. I, play I play Chromatic Ring, and I activate Craftsman's Apprentice, of course. I make a copy of the Chromatic Ring, because I'm going to sell the Chromatic Ring. I'm going to play Join the Hunt. Interesting. And I'm going to give this 1 plus 1 and ranged to Could I have it? my Diligent Farmer. No. Yeah. Not in the time camp. I tried. You never know if you don't ask, right? Yeah. <laughs> Abandon this grand fish market for another draw, for a draw. I haven't started doing any draws, so I will take that draw and this free draw as two cards right now. Cool. So I will repeat again. That's this is my free draw and my abandoned draw for a grand fish market. Yep, that sounds right. So I'm going to play supportive friends. Good choice. Uh -huh. I'm going to give up one gold. And make Mufari's quarry in Nick's side of the field. Nick's side of the field. Hey. I use one less, gold, one more gold to activate support of friends. The next time an effect would score you points, this turn it scores you that many points plus two instead. All right. So Mufari, I need you to attack Mufari's quarry. So that's seven points in total. And we're just scary. That this first demoralize is going towards Mufari. And the diligent farmer. That's crazy. I don't need that help. That is kind of like a next level play right there. Because you must have Ava in your hand then, based on that. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Alvin knows it. Oh man, I just love it though. I love the fact that you knew that I had one in my hand. Oh man. Oh, I guess I. I well, I guess I don't. I don't like having extra gold. So I play my killer bees. Well. There you go. Now you don't have extra gold. Problem solved. I guess I use my craftsman's apprentice to beat up the toll collector. <laughs> All right. Aww. <laughs> so George is, George is prepped to score a lot of points with Ava next turn. That may affect what I do this turn. So I get my gold. I get my phase counters. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and activate Persuasive Might right now. I think I am ready to go hostile now. I think I'm ready to... Asserts. Unleash. Yeah, I'm, I'm, re I'm ready to start fighting some battles here. So this is going to attack into this. Oh, come on. And this is going to attack into this. So they're both hostile now. Uh, okay, so I'm going to play, first of all, Bandit Raiders for five. One, two, three, mm. four, five. And then for mm. one gold, I'm going to play Embolden to give the Bandit Raiders two power and Tenacious. Just because I want them to be a little bit stronger. Yeah, so Tenacious says prevent damage that would be dealt to it unless it's greater than its health. And so Mufari is currently going to do 3 plus 2 damage, which means it's not greater than the health. So now I'm going to go ahead and make an attack into Mufari. Mufari is going to deal his 5 damage first, but Bandit Raiders is Tenacious now. He don't care. And then he's going to smash in for 7, getting rid of your Mufari. I'm going to go ahead and now activate his aggression to gain 2 gold and draw a card. Um, okay, so yeah, now I'm going to play... Stubborn Mercenary, and then now I'm going to have Assert Dominance, give its plus one plus zero to the Stubborn Mercenary, and then I'm going to deal four damage to your supportive friends, completing this campaign. Okay, so yeah, for my last gold, I'm going to play Burn, targeting your Craftsman's Apprentice. See you wow. later, Craftsman Apprentice. <laughs> Alright, so believe it or not, I have not actually used my free draw, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, and then Grindon's Routine... I'll give it to the Stubborn Mercenaries, and now he's at 5-3. Okay, so how much power is on board? I think I can still get pretty greedy with my Abandons. So I'm going to go ahead and abandon this to draw another card. And then, just in case someone plays Drive Insane, I'm going to play this so I don't get messed up by it. All right, I think that was a pretty productive turn. I'm going to go ahead and end my turn now and score another 3 points. Pass it over to you, Kim. Okay, I will start with getting my gold and exploring the unknown for its final phase. I'll look at the top three cards, put one into my hand. I'll put this into my hand, and yeah, and then I shuffle. And this is good. I'll play my hidden thicket, 
and abandon my Kalnea to draw a card. I will play my champion. Here she uh, is. Harmony. There she and, is. And then I'll play Mufari for the ah, final Ah, okay. Spider-Man memes. And now I'm the Mufari deck. Spider-Man oh. uh, And I'll gain two points. M Mufari will gain one health. And, honestly, that's it. I'll pass my turn. Start with a free draw. We will this turn produce a diligent farmer. And then it's completed. Very nice. I will gain a gold from each of these. Mm -hmm. So much gold. Activate the diligent farmer. <sighs> Bonkers. So we'll play the champion. Get. First three. I'll play town mayor. Oh, four. that's so good. All and right. Four. Four points, yeah. Synergy is unlocked if a denizen you control got an ability or had his power or health increased this turn. Okay, I will activate hidden thickets one more time to do the same thing as the farmer, go up one gold, and pay four for Barbarian Chieftain. Four more points. I will then play three statues. Oh, no. wow. Barbarian the Chieftain prince. gets two of those, and Town Mayor just probably doesn't matter, but he gets one. Hey, man, protect that mayor. That's what I need to do. Elected official. Yeah, so now his synergy is unlocked. Yes. Let's take an abandon draw from this statue, red statue. Uh, and then I'll activate Town Mayor's synergy ability to fetch a non-unique campaign card. Uh, I guess the only thing I really have left is another work the fields. Yeah, I might need it because I'm spending all my gold. So I'll reveal to you and work the fields into my hand. All right. All right, this attack is going to be Barbarian Chieftain coming against your Rowdy Bandits. Yep. We will use one... Oh, sorry, we have to sell first. We'll sell the Chromatic Emblem. Mm -hmm. oh, Nick, you are popping off. Use oh. uh, this Hidden Crag. Two rows. To get a three gold. Three rows. And then play another Work the Fields. This is insane. That's my, my, that's my attempt at a turnaround turn. Uh, Pass. That was... A, uh, that's an understatement. That was a turnaround and a half. You did see? You did a good job, Nick. So I always seven. does a good job. That's why right. you gotta be scared. And we are on turn uh, phase two of Demoralize. We are at seven gold. We got to spend money to make money. So one of these golds Words is going to this man over here. Great. We are going to spend one more gold. Spend it in here. So we are now up to nine gold. Let's sell and put a gold in here. What? You're selling and putting... Okay. So, Hidden Flower Patch, we are going to abandon that. So that's two cards. I am drawing two cards from my free draw and from my abandon. Okay. So I'm going to play Ava, the Unwavering Optimist. I play a Supportive Friends. I play Mufari. Oh, building a board. I activate Demoralize, mm -hmm. and I use it against Grindon, the personal trainer, uh -huh. and Harmony, care the carefree idealist. All right. I use my killer bees to... I guess I choose... Stop George, you're scenario. still after me? All right, fair enough. I was hoping... Yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> I have no... I have no other... Right, I have trade. no other... George... But that's I mean that's fine. I just oh oh. There's too much. There's too much to count on Nick's side of the field. I don't have enough things to stop him with. Um, and fight right, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, George. How about you give me a Mufari's quarry token so I can attack into something of Nick's. The only person you could give a quarry to who doesn't benefit from the quarry is Kim, and it's the same attack that can be made against my stuff before yeah, my turn. Okay, then I then I give the. Mufari's token to Kim? Make a Mufari's quarry. It's actually kind of ironic that Mufari and the Mufari's quarry are on, on the same... Yes! Uh, fighting, fighting alongside. You know, it's that's a rare ironic. instance. Can you... Yeah. Yes. Uh, pass my turn. Look at Mufari and his quarry chilling over here. <laughs> Alright. Get my goal for turn. Get my phase counters. Do my free draw right now. Okay... So let's try my darndest to with with what little I have. Uh, first, I'm gonna activate persuasive might for three gold. I'll play barbarian chieftain. For two gold, I will play the uncaged brindle tusk. And then for another two gold, I'm gonna play Grindon. 
Then I'm going to play Grand Gymnasium. I'm going to activate its rival ability to draw a card. I'm going to abandon the Grand Gymnasium to draw another card. I guess I'm the most scared of this guy. So this is going to make an attack. So bye bye that guy. And then I'll activate his aggression to gain two gold, draw a card. And then I'm going to play Grand Gymnasium, my second one, to draw a card. All right, so I think I'm going to have to have this guy who's swift. He can attack right away. I'm going to have to have him attack mm -hmm. and do this, Mufari. A suggestion. Suggestion. I think George has a really good shot uh, at winning. Hmm. And it might be in your best interest to instead attack George. Interesting. Okay, so there's five in your turn. Plus, okay, so you have a guaranteed seven if I don't deal with this. George, let's see. He's got a maximum of five. I am considering your proposition, but I do think I still want to make this attack into this. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, that means my Mufari will, unfortunately, yes. pass away. You will have to leave the hunt. Okay, so, I mean, Ava is a huge threat, but I don't think I can deal with it right now. I mean, there are things on board to deal with it. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to play a duel at sunset. I'm going to have this supportive friends challenge this Mufari's quarry. So on your next turn, Kim, you're going to have to attack this into this. I could have just done that, but <laughs> I was going to do that anyway, but thanks. <laughs> now I have to do yeah, that. Yeah, okay. Well, this is a perfect example <laughs> of, how, yeah, maybe maybe I could have gotten more value if I made a, a political if play If you made there. a deal. Oops. Oops. Uh, all right. So let's see. What do I want to do next? Uh, I will try to... <laughs> throw a, a wet noodle at a moving train and play obstructive roadblock, locking down this uh, hidden Amazing. cave. And here I thought the effects were gone. <laughs> uh, all right, so... And that's your turn? Uh, yeah, now I'm going to end my turn. Grinnan is going to see one solitary individual with four or more power that made it one turn cycle. So I am at nine points. Pass. The reason I didn't want you to... Uh, remove Mufari is because I would have won the game uh, on my next okay. turn. Well, uh, I'm glad I removed Mufari. Is, yeah, now it is not on the table. I'll take my draw. Yeah, I'll play my champion for three. Then I'm going to play a Adventurer's Journal for two and a Craftsman's Apprentice for two. I will make an attack from my Mufari's quarry to your supportive friends. All right. Mufari's quarry does not care about friendship. <laughs> he had no choice, really. Yeah. But just... I'll gain one point at the end of my turn. And uh, that'll be all. All in right. Turn eight, we're getting to the late game. I got to find stuff to fill my hands. Let's see if I did enough. You might have. But, uh, oh, yeah. Phase counters. I guess we'll, we'll gain the goal before... Oops. Before they go away, and then they go away. Mm -hmm. My board look much simpler. Uh, we'll make a... Another farmer. Activate each of the farmers. I will abandon the charged hidden crag. The fully searched one? Yeah, okay. Get a draw. I got some points this turn, but I feel like people are going to pass me up, so we'll play a Lorene. Uh-huh. And a forceful de debt collector. Uh-huh. And an assert dominance. None of those gain me points. Well, Lorene will eventually. I guess we're in control mode here. Do I care about this farmer enough to just make a dent in one of your many denizens that will score you points? Mm. It's basically just I attack into Uncaged Brindle Tusk and hope George takes it the rest of the way. I think I have to. Right. The farmer will make an attack into the Uncaged Brindle Tusk. So, yeah. End of my turn, I'll lose all my gold, and Lorene will score me three points for this town mayor. Eight gold. Uh, phase three. So, um, I drew my free draw. I... Took one gold for myself, gave it to my diligent farmer. He gives me two gold back. So now I'm at nine. I will also abandon. Also, my let's other... make sure we don't forget about Alvin uh, because yeah. he, he has the possibility of winning next turn. <laughs> Grandfish Market. I am, change I am putting into my inactive zone because I am abandoning it so I can draw a card. Yep. Get all your options. Uh oh. Did you draw a Desire to Live? Were you. Are you just about to win the game? I'm going to play... Please no, please no. My master... I'm going to play Master <laughs> Craftsman. 
I put one gold into my hidden flower patch. Um, okay, I also so I just... played my Craftsman's Apprentice. Look at that. Look at that combo. George? Yo. If Alvin has a Kazen, he wins the game. That's just a guarantee, unless someone puts a stop to his engine. And I think I your mean... demoralize is the perfect answer right now. Okay. I mean... How do I win, is my question. That's right. How do you win, though? You, you yeah, win with a desire ads? to live. That's how you win. That's the answer to that question. Desire to live? Hold on. I forgot what that card was. Let me look back. Desire to live. Oh, and eight points. That and then sucks. You just removed a Mufari's quarry. Another five. 13 points to win the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then I play Obnoxious Name Caller. Okay. Inspiration's cool. unlocked. I activate my Master Craftsman's Inspiration to fetch a non unique item card. I'm going to shuffle. I play Black Mora Powder. Desire to Live wins. That's right. If you had yes, Desire to Live, have. you would just win the game. No, I don't have one. I'm also going to play Hidden Thicket, and I'm going to put one search counter in that. I play Obstructive Roadblock, and I imprint it on your crowded stadium. Oh, man. All right. And then I play Killer Bees. Um, I use Mufari Beast Hunter to attack Mufari's quarry. All right, good and play. I right. lower my HP to one, and I use my obnoxious name caller on Nick's diligent farmer. Oh, Here goes the farmer. I also use Demoralize Phase Three up to two Denzians minus three three, and I choose these: the Uncaged Brittle Tusk. All right, and the Barbarian Chieftain. Brutal. Hooray. I score four points with Ava because Mufari has less HP than he started with. Nice. And I pass my turn to Alvin. All right. That was a pretty good turn, George. Let's see. Get my goal for turn. Get my phase counter. Free draw. I'm going to have this run itself into the town mayor. So I don't know if this is right, but there's just so many options to consider now. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then aggression is now going to be unlocked, so I'm going to go ahead and gain two gold and draw another card. I mean, I guess this is the right call. I'll abandon the Grand Gymnasium, draw one more card. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and activate this now. So as long as I have a denizen of four more power, I have a discount of one on all my cards, completing this campaign. And I, that's just a passive effect I have now. Ten, ten gold you got. Ten, and fold hand on turn yeah. eight. I guess I'll play this and then activate it to put a search counter on it. And then I'll play this and activate this to put a search counter on this. I'll play bomb research for one more gold. All right. Then I'm going to play another obstructive roadblock. This time I'm going to lock down oh, this. Wow. So, but are we going to get back to George's turn is the question. Oh, I don't man. think you're going to understand how I'm going to win next turn. Right. All right, I'm going to have this give uh -huh. his routine ability to this, so he's going to have 8 power. And then I'm going to run Grindon into this Mufari's quarry token, because it's, since it's not your turn, you're not going to score points. Oh. Them, so they're going to trade. You're mean. No, yeah. you. And then Fair. now I'm going to play him for 2. He's back. I'll tell you, it wasn't the Mufari's quarry token that's going to do it. Uh-oh. Why is this game so crazy? Um, Do I get rid of this, or do I get rid of this? I think... <laughs> You have a million gold, so it doesn't matter. I think it. I think what I wins me the game that. is is the question. Uh, You're sounding more and more like Doctor. Right. Um, One, two, three. To play Kazen. Doctor Gadget. Ah, oh, you did have it. I did have it. Yes. I will sell the roadblock that was targeting Nick. Did I just go on? Uh, so this is free now. Now Nick. you see. Freedom. Enjoy, I suppose. All right. Oh, you I'm won't play. This individual, wow. and I'm going to activate his arrival to give Kazen two more power, and then I'm going to have Kazen crash in to Eldrian, dealing mm -hmm. two damage to himself. That doesn't win me the game. Never play support uh -oh. friends. I, I'm scared now. I, what, what is Kim alluding to here? Okay, uh, and anyways, I've made three <laughs> attacks. So Grindon in his previous um, outing attacked, and then this attacked, and then this has also attacked. So I'm going to activate aggression to score myself three points and produce myself a very fancy runaway slave. All right. Busting people out of prison. Yep, 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 yep. So 
Yeah, I guess now I will end the turn and score myself another three points off the Bandit Raiders. Boy, Not oh boy. Quite 20. Passing it to you, Kim. Let's see. All right, I'll it. start with my gold. Uh, it's a two card combo. You already know it is Junila. Wow. Into oh, Kazen no. Freedom Fighter. <laughs> I dig it. That is oh, a total I dig of it. points. <laughs> I dig it. I dig it, I dig exactly. it, I dig it, I dig it, I dig it, I dig if it. If you would have gotten rid of my harmony, I would have had enough anyway because I could sell my adventurer's See, journal. I adventurer's knew. journal is what would have won me the game. Oh. Super friends you made to, it. You had, to, you had to remove harmony and adventurer's journal for me to not win. Right, oh, so there's two points from this, and then two points from this. The reason I attack, I was even, I even attacked this. Alvin was because his champion was out. You get rid of the point, the key, like... The primary, the 101, the thing you step into class zero on. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. So. Good job. Yeah. So, Good Nick, job. what were you working Good with on, on over on your side? I mean, you had a million gold. Um, was was did George make the right play by going after me and forcing me to deal with your stuff? Like, how how did that all play um, out? I think this sort of round robin. I was not going to make it there with the draw that I had because like some of my bigger denizens were just buried. So I have things like Bandit Raiders myself, so that could have been six points. But you know, uh, if all I, if all I find is my little dudes, then uh, you guys can you guys can overwhelm me, and, and that's what happened. So I was yeah. spacing down a lot of really scary stuff in front of me. Yeah. All right. And George, you were on your turn eight. You were so close to winning that game. We all know what so we, we, all, we went over it like four times. We went over it four times. We the we know. Kim knows. Nick knows. You knew two turns before. I was planning four turn turns before, but now everyone knows. It's like, nope, he needed he needed a he needed a will to live. Go ahead. Would you all believe me if I said I made my deck in five minutes? <laughs> um, well, I mean, at this point, you've played enough games and you've no, proven your skills. No, at this point, as a I wouldn't builder. disbelieve you. I, I would it, believe it. it. Was yeah, really I crazy. would believe it. Yeah, I believe you now. I, it was I went crazy. into it thinking I'm gonna play Harmony. I'm going to play all of the unique denizens. And I'm going to make sure that I have uh, a perfect alignment base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can and see that. it ended up working out. I got all of the cards to remove my locations from my deck, which let me uh, more consistently draw my unique denizens. Like everything lined up that game. I really uh, enjoyed I that. More defensive. Yeah. I learned more defensive maneuvers with this deck. Yeah, and as far as what I was Good doing, um, Kim called it. Basically, if you hadn't gotten rid of the, the last two denizens there, Kazen could have come out and, and swept it. Grid didn't, didn't quite get there again. Maybe I'll bring him back again for another attempt. Uh, you know, if you fail the first time, you just keep trying. Eventually, you'll get there. So, um, All right, so that'll do it for today's episode. We hope you had as much fun watching as we did playing. Before we sign off for today, we'd like to remind you that we rely on viewers like you to help our channel grow. So liking, subscribing, sharing, those are easy and free ways to show your support. And we'd appreciate it greatly. Please join us again next week for more Champions of Meander gameplay. Bye-bye for now. Peace. Peace.